is beginning to fall over Southern California, but the lights are shining bright here at the spectacular SoFi Stadium in Metropolitan Los Angeles. Coming up, it's the final game of Wild Card Weekend, and we've got a good AFC matchup in store between the Las Vegas Raiders and the Los Angeles Chargers. The battle for the Lamar Hunt Trophy begins as we're underway in this AFC wildcard game. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And no chance to get away as they get him down at about the 17-yard line. include having a strong running game in their assessment and with this man in the backfield this group has a strong running game without a doubt oh i absolutely agree with you there because in terms of yardage he's a top five running back in the league and in terms of impact on a game not many better than him and when they're flowing and he's carrying the ball consistently they're tough to beat and he will lose yardage here back at the 23 yard line They'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. 19, Tiger! 19, Tiger! Panther 11! Panther 11! Hurts. Swings this one out wide for Pierce. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That one good for 13 and a charger first. Just the first quarter of the tackling going to be so important going forward. They've got to limit plays like that. And that's something when you see it happen early in the game and they don't get him on the ground, you can always tell that they were concerned about it going in. Because I can just tell you from my days, I remember being in college and wearing all offseason about our season open opponent, and they had a receiver that could shake and bake with the best of them. I tackled him on the first pass of the game, and the relief was incredible. I ended up having a pretty decent ball game. But if I had missed him, it, it would have been a different story. Night. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. And Pierce gets it again on second down. Uh -huh. You got to block one of those guys that you picked up. Watching that play unfold, watching him complete it. Uh -huh. One of those guys, it doesn't matter which one, one of them has to get picked up. But we're not picking anyone up. We're just picked up. And the Raiders call on a nickel set for third down. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Throwing his hurts. Finds the open man. It's Mike Williams. And he'll get this one down near the 20 yard line. Just shy of the 20. That's a game of nearly 40 yards on third and medium to pick up the first. Brandon, we've both been around the game long enough that we know that pregame defenses are pretty amped up, aren't they? I mean, they're pounding lockers and they can't wait to get out there. But when you hit them with some big pass plays early, it takes a start right out of them. The slot man in motion right. First and ten, it's Pierce. 
And he'll keep it moving down to the 15-yard line. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your O-line to set the tone of dominance and physicality, and pound the rock. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Now they'll run the option to the short side left. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. A solid pickup of 12 yards, and now they're knocking on the door. And this, I mean, it's certainly something to watch out for. He is not afraid to call his own number on plays like that, and here he takes it for good yardage. And we know this defense prepared all week for this, but sometimes when you see it in person, it's a whole different ball game, and all that preparation, it goes right out the window. Scoring first, so critical in the postseason. They've got it here first and goal. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And they'll get him down just shy of the goal line at about the one. Second and goal from the one. Brings up second and goal. Ah, it won't let me. And again, they'll go right back to their fullback. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Xander Horvath punching it in from a yard away. And the Chargers will strike first here in this wild card matchup. Hopkins with the extra point. And that makes the score 7 0. That is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be returned from deep in the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. Oh, it didn't give me the guy I wanted. This across the 25 That's wild. Line. It didn't give him the guy on A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first well, down. For whatever reason. Right there. And this is a man who's a thousand yard rusher in the regular season, so you know he's going to get his chances, and he picks up nice yardage on that one. On first down, they go with Jacobs again. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. On second down, Jacobs. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. Here's Jacobs on first and ten. They find some open field here. And some pretty strong running there as he'll take this across the 50 and down to the 44. The pickup goes for 16 and a Raider first down. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation? We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game. And it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run. How? Oh, he's got some breathing room. How'd he get through the gap? Five rushing yards, rushing for him now as he has started this wild card round with a flourish. So back to back big runs, picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the <laughs> era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. And they didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage in their clearing space. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. All run 
Titans on this drive so far. It's first and ten. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Big runner Williams there on the stop. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle. That's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends. They're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Now they'll throw with Carr. Got a man. Darren Waller, touchdown! Where's my play to? Twenty-seven yards, and the Raiders are an extra point away from drawing level. Taking a very got over there. Extra point by Carlson, up and good, and we are tied at seven. Interesting. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Well, I come off a bit for him. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. The Charger drive about to get going. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone. Uh, he took, the took over that guy. That he broke that tackle. Then Parker took over. Hilarious. Almost a physical reaction. Watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Play action. Here's Hertz. He's got him in. Complete. And he'll get this one right up just shy of the 45-yard line. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. That was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. And he's across the 45. It'll be second down. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. And Pierce gets it again on second down. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you, and sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the plays we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. <laughs> the Raiders call on a nickel set here for third down. Jones will come now in motion right. Here's Hurts to throw. He's got his man, T.J. Hawkinson. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 39. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. Well, a lot of times when you get a magical third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end. And he comes through for him, picking up the first down. A run for Pierce out of the gun. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. And 
Pierce gets it again on second down. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. If you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. And that one will go for 13 yards on the keeper. And a first down. That was a good strong run for a first down. And they are just dominating right now on this drive. They've stayed on the field, which consequently means the opposition's offense can't get out there and score any points. Able to fight for about four yards there to the 13. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down. You're set up very well for the rest of the drive. And Pierce gets it again on second down. And he takes it in for a charger touchdown. Damian Pierce, a 13 yard touchdown run. And the Chargers have taken the lead. Extra point good by Hopkins. And that makes the score 14 to 7. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? Second and five now. Carr. And he can't hang on to it. And the screen never got started. So many components go into a well-executed screen pass. You've got to sell, sell, sell. Offensive line's got to sell like they've missed blocks, and then they move out, and they're out in front of the running back. He's got to sell that he's trying to block, and then he slips out into the route. The quarterback has to sell that maybe he's trying to throw it downfield. Instead, he slips it off to the running back, and when you get one set perfectly, you have to catch the ball. And that didn't happen on that play. Card out of throw. Able to find Waller. That's complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Colton Miller, former first round pick, called for the penalty there. So, following the holding call, what can they do here on third and long? Working from the gun, it's Carr. And he will be back into the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. Chris Ruff able to get him down. Murder, Ghost. And it will be fourth down. Murder. Here's A.J. Cole now to pump this one away. Charger drive about to get going. 
And now with still more than a minute to go in what's been a tight game, you figure we'll try to see them move the ball downfield. And remember, they get the kickoff to start the second half, so this is a golden opportunity for them to go down there and put up a couple of sixes back-to-back. -back. What a momentum swing that would be. Yeah, you might be able to get a two-for-one without ever even giving up the football. A good gain on first. Has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. From the gun, it's Hurts. Williams brings it in. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Out to the left there and complete to the tight end, Hawkinson. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. A big play that time on the catch and run. And the Chargers are going to get themselves a fresh set of downs here. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Jones. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. Bring him down after just a short pickup. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get him with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. This is a big play in this wild card matchup, facing third and goal. up to throw it and this is going to be intercepted a big seam and he might go all the way he's at the 50 the 30 and he will be brought down as time is now mm. run out on this I didn't first let it clear. half of action i didn't let it clear that's my fault all right so we're at halftime in this AFC wild card matchup as we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports halftime report. Coach? Welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. Should just put the field try there. to avoid being one and done in these playoffs as we start the second half of this AFC wild card game. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And Charles, that had to be an interesting locker room at halftime. This is a team that's had so much success this year. Haven't really had to deal with a lot of adversity at halftime, to be honest. But now here they are with their playoff lives on the line. 
And I think when you're alluding to that interesting locker room, you're just wondering how are they handling that bit of adversity that they're seeing right now? Because I think this is a team that has to look to lean on the veterans at this point. We know we're better than this. We proved it all season. Let them disseminate that confidence through the locker room. But this opening drive, it'll be an important one for them to get a little drip of confidence moving forward. Only a yard on the pickup, so a good situation on second and two. It's now third and one. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Trying to pick this up on the ground with White. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. Counter play with Jacobs. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Not a huge play, but I think they're more than happy with how it turned out. Don't be surprised to see them revisit that call because there's a lane there for more than just five yards. Put it in your back pocket and break it out when you need it later. Second and five now. Carr. Oh, trying to get that to Adams, but that's intercepted. Derwin James with a pick. And the Chargers are going to take possession of the football. Tough one there. First drive of the third quarter for an interception, and now a chance that they could be in even a bigger hole if they can convert this into points. Yeah, but how good do you feel if you're that defensive coordinator right now? Because you just know that the head coach looked at him and said, turn him loose, big man. And he'd be able to take a few extra chances playing with this type of a lead, and boy, it paid off. Here stakes it straight ahead. He's dropped just inside the 20. A little second effort there, but couldn't find a whole lot of space. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. On any running play this call, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Now a throw complete to his fullback out of the backfield. Touchdown, Chargers! Xander Horvath, he scored on the ground and through the air. And the Chargers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Big baggy. Big baggy. Hopkins with the extra point, and it's now 21-7. Kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes, get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Jamal Adams coming up from a safety spot to make the play. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back. You spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. From the 31, Carr. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over at that time, but it's going to lead to third down. Just what they need, a lecture from me, but subpar offense is what helped get 
them into this spot. And now they're continuing the trend with incompletions. That won't get them out of it if they don't change something soon. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Throwing now is Carr. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there that brings up Ford. We're into the second half now. This is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. Decision to go for it doesn't pan out, and the Chargers will get the football back in excellent field position. Pierce gets this one running right, and he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there, second down. This defense could use a few more plays like that right now. It certainly could, but think about it from an offense's perspective right now. They've got a lead, but they don't want to throttle down too much and stall themselves. Still want to move at a nice pace. They go play action with Hurts. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Divine Diablo dropping him behind the line of scrimmage. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback, third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you're doing a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Well, give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Well, partner, given where that drive started, that's an excellent job defensively to force them into fourth down. Here's Dustin Hopkins now to try the field goal. They'll put it down right at the 40, so call this a 50-yard attempt. Hopkins' kick is good, but now there is a penalty marker on the field, so let's see what this is about. And they'll accept that penalty. A lack of discipline defensively on fourth down, and now that leads to a first and ten. Pierce now up the middle. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. That's another gain of 15 on back-to-back -back plays. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower. That front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Hurts with a little pop pass on the jet sweep. And he will get in across the chunk for the Chargers touchdown. From three yards out. And the Chargers continue to show why it pays to play at home in the postseason as they add on to their lead. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to oh, He didn't it. throw it. <laughs> he both faked it. Oh, he both faked it. Uh, he pump faked it for whatever reason. That was weird. Uh, oh, well. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And really, Charles, not much of a surprise that they're losing. They just haven't been able to get much of anything going in the pass game. And as you all well know, in today's NFL, if the passing game isn't working, usually not much else is working either. Exactly right about that part, and 
Back them hoes up. Back them hoes up. Back them hoes up. That might not be everything you need. So despite the fact that they've struggled throwing it, they've got to find some type of a play. Multiple plays that puts the ball in the air and allows for them to have some success. Trying to get it to Adams, but it's intercepted. Derwin James with a pick. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a charger TV. Well, CD, we have seen it many times throughout the course of the season. This defense coming up large and snagging a big takeaway. But here, they get not just the takeaway, six points as well. And you just knew that for this team to advance, they had to get a big performance from this unit. And to this point, they delivered. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So already not the best to kick returns there, but that penalty, that adds insult to injury and backs him up even closer to the goal line. Yeah, not ideal field position to begin a drive, is it? Because the extra pressure now goes on the offense. They've got to get some early yards and get away from the shadow of their own goal post. What every offense wants to do in this situation, get two first downs to help out with field position at the least. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be, but still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Second down, Jacobs once more. And he's got a room. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. So that time they get the tight end on the hold. Normally he's a pretty good run blocker, but this time he just didn't get his arms extended and let go quickly enough. The flag came out as a result. On second down, they'll run with White. And he'll take this forward only up to about the seven. Give him two yards that time, and it's going to leave him with a third and 11 situation. for the right to survive round one here in the AFC. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The third down now. And those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. Car going to throw. They'll find his tight end. That's Waller. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. Give him 30 yards there. At this stage, there's nothing left to do but to keep firing. And if you're a play caller, you may go off your sheet and use some things maybe you hadn't planned to in this game. Maybe that was one of them there that worked. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Put up by Asante Sawyer Jr. And he brings this one back. It's a big six and a charger TD. Well, this one was already ugly, and now it's just kind of becoming a feast on the defensive side of the football. Yeah, partner, this is a unit that knows they've got this game in the bag with this huge lead. And it's going to drive their coaches crazy because they're telling them, play it straight, do all the right things. But these guys are going to be free wheeling now. They're going to take chances. But that one pays off with an INT in return for six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And they are most likely steering at a cold end of their season here in this wild card round. Nothing has gone right so far. And they are, to be frank, in desperation mode now as they begin with a first and 10. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Well, I mean, look, obviously there's no 20 or 30-point play in that playbook, but 
They can try to end things here on a positive note despite trailing big, and that looks like what they're trying to do here by pushing the ball downfield. Well, let me go with the heavy cliche again, partner. Just control what you can control right now, and all they can control here is how their final plays develop. Given back-to-back -back catches now. That one for 16, and another first down. Shotgun now for Carr. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. So roughing the pass mm. is never one that you like to see. Not at all, and especially when you're in that final push of the season. You can't afford to get your quarterback hurt before the playoffs roll around, and we know they'll be here before you know it. Under pressure, and down he goes. They sack it back at the 36. It'll be a loss of 10, and it'll bring up second. Another try after the first down sack. Carr, throw left side complete. That's Jacobs. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised. Should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. He hits Adams complete. And they move this all the way down to the nine. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Here's Jacobs. And he is in. My own guy got Josh Jacobs, a nine yard touchdown run. Man. And the Raiders get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. He finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL. A complete back. Ooh, Three downs. Love it. Run it and catch it. And he gets it done. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And this will not work out. And it's a fumble. And the Raiders pick it up. And they take possession two yards away from midfield at the 48-yard line. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete, but the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. So now then, the penalty's got him set up with a first and goal. Jacobs will cross the line. Uh, in. Touchdown, what are you But look, this is a team, Charles. They faced adversity all year long. They had a fighting claw to win that division. But they're putting it all together here in the wild card game. Feels like a statement, doesn't it? An absolute statement game. A message to the top seeds. Overlook us at your own peril. We're pretty darn good. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that'll cut the lead back down to 21. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And this one travels out of bounds, so unsuccessful there on the onside kick try. before the two-minute warning. Hand off left side, Pierce. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. 
Oh, the sneak gets hurt. And little room to maneuver there. He gets it down about the 39. Only a yard on the sneak, not what he was hoping for, and it's third down. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Knocked that down for a win in the defense's column. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I remember from my experience as a defender, when the big fellow gets the football, You've got to get on him early before he gets a chance to get up ahead of steam because once he does that, he's going to leave a lot of tacklers in his wake. But first down, Hurts. This one complete to his fullback out of the backfield. Touchdown! Xander Horvath. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Chargers have opened up a four-touchdown lead here in the fourth. Extra point good by Hopkins. And that will increase their lead to 28. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Assaulting this man. Well, here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Car now on first down. And it's complete to Adams. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. On first and 10, here's Carr. Gets this to Waller on the crossing route. Now another timeout called for by the offense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. With this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. Well, we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late point. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked up by Jamal Adams. And the Chargers are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. Facing this fourth quarter deficit, felt like they had to throw the ball, and on the other side, they were ready. No doubt about it, they're playing situational football. They look at the clock, they know the lead that they have, and all they're doing is playing pass on every down. Playing the pass, picking it off, and now big time in the driver's seat. The Charger drive about to get going. And they've got to be feeling very comfortable and confident here with this lead in the football here in the fourth quarter, Charles. And I don't think that they need to score again, but it seems like this offense is just getting better as the game goes on. They've scored on their last two drives. So 